okay in the power electronics lab the next experiment we are going to do based on our igbt in this igbt in the same way what we done in the previous experiments that is mosfet scr here also in the same process comparing with the mosfet here we are going to learn about the characteristics of the vi characteristics of the igbt and also of the transfer characteristics of the igbt okay what is the long form of this igbt this is insulated gate bipolar transistor okay why the main uh, uses of this igbt means it is having less losses and high efficiency this is the main advantage the using of your igbt then these are the symbol where we are going to use the other ic this is the igbt in a different forms okay next figure of the igbt is of this in this it is the, with this we call as a tab then it is a gate this terminal is going to be a gate next is of drain then it is of a source okay then igbt is the combination of bjt bipolar junction transistor and also of the p mosfet next it is having high input impedance like for the p mosfets then low on state power loss like for the bjt for that reason low power loss and high impedance when we combine both we are getting of our igbt next in igbt second breakdown problem is not going to be present that's one main advantage of this then voltage control device our igbt is of a voltage controlled device and it is having three terminal device that is it is consisting of a collector a emitter and also of a gate this is the symbol of the igbt just you observe here here is of a transistor part and this we will um, uh, come across with the mosfet part right for the reason it is combined of transistor and also of the mosfet then what are some other names are given for the igbt the first one is of moi gt that is metal oxide gate bipolar junction transistor or else com fet that is conductively modulated field effect transistors then gem fet gate modulated field effect transistors these are the different names we can call for the igbt next this is the structure of the igbt in this it is consisting of your emitter this part we call as emitter this is our gate okay here here is the drain and source of this part is of the source and drain here again this part is going to be source and drain with the n type and our substrate is going to be for this reason okay that is we taken as a p and here one more substrate is of n and another is of p substrate this p substrate uh, substrate we call as injection layer because the number of holes are going to be injected towards the source then this we call as a drift layer then it is this whole part is called as a body of igbt then this is our silicon dioxide this layer we call it this whole structure is in terms of a vlsi structure we call this as and the junction between n and p we call as a j3 and the junction between p and n as a j2 and n p is of j1 because it's of a three layer are there three junctions are there in the igbt a small uh, note here the p plus layer is going to be called as the injection layer due to it injects the holes in the n layer it's giving the holes the direction is showing for you this is our current path then the thickness of the n layer determines the voltage blocking capability of igbt based on this we are going for next the igbt and mosfet are same in structure when i'm comparing with both same in structure the main difference between is substrate what we are going to use in the mosfet and also for the igbt the n plus layer substrate at the drain in p mosfet is now substituted in the 
IgBT by P plus layer. N plus layer in the P MOSFET, but in IgBT, we are going for the P plus layer substrate is called as a collector, that is C. Then the P layer is called as a body of the IgBT. Then the IgBT was also initially called as insulated gate transistors. Ig in, uh, in the previous uh, terms, it is uh, mentioned as IgT, but as it is advanced way, we are taken the name as IgBT. Next, this is the equivalence of circuit, means internal construction of the IgBT. This part is going to be taken as your MOSFET. Yes, observe here, it's of a MOSFET and two transistors. That is your BJT form. This is called as a body part near to the emitter and here it is of a collector and drift region near to the gate. Okay, this is what the circuit. Then this is the IV characteristics of and transfer characteristics. This is the construction. Here a small design is taken. You can design any design. If you can use of the resistors as you will wish. Okay, here it is taken as RS, RGE and RC. Character current, gate, uh, gate emitter resistance and series resistance of this. Across the BE, VBE voltage will be flowing and the collector current will be flowing here. That is IC. A supply is given at the collector emitter and also at the base to emitter that is VG. Okay, this is a circuit diagram. Then the VI characteristics, the voltage of gate to emitter, gate to emitter, it will be starting, it will be uh, rising and again it's going to be attaining constant. After the breakdown voltage, it starts increasing. For any of the different voltages I am going for, it is satisfying for the all. The characteristics you drawn across collector current with the voltage collector to emitter. Okay, this is the static VI characteristics. Then the transfer characteristics, here it is. Come across about the collector current with the gate gate to emitter voltage. Here, when starting it will be zero, when a threshold gate to emitter voltage, minimum voltage we have to apply. After that minimum voltage, it starts conducting. That's what it is transfer characteristics. Next, this is we call as a switching characteristics. When when it when it will starts conducting. Okay, here. Voltage across the gate to emitter with respect to the time we are flowing here. This is a switching time. This is how it is going to be conducting. In detail, we can check with this figure. In this, the when a IGBT is going to be turning on, it is taking two times. Means uh, times what it's going to be the period what it's going for. That is T D N delay time. We call this as a delay time and this is TR is of a rise time. That uh, delay time is going to be taken when the voltage VCE is going to be drop to the 0.9 VCE. The value from 1 to the 0.9 VCE. When it is dropping, we call that time as a delay time. After that and along with that, our current collector to emitter current from the saturation from 0.1 IC it starts increasing increasing and it is reaching to the IC and reaching to the IC that time period from reaching from 0.1 to the 1 means the value of IC that uh, that time what's going for what point it's going to be rising it's rising right that time we call as a TR. The whole T on is based on the delay time and also of the rise time. Then when it is going to be off, here you observe this is we call as delay in the off position. Time delay of off. This is going to be taken when our collector current is going to be decreasing from the main IC to the value of 0.9 IC. That time when it is reaching at 0.9 IC, that is taken as TDF, okay. Then the time taken for collector current reaching from 0.9 
to the point two. Observe here, small change here. Yes, this we call as a TF one fall time. Initial fall time. We call this TF one means initial fall time. Then from point two to the point one. This this point one to the. Observe this line. This I am telling this point two to the point one. I see collector current. Okay, and then our voltage is going to be increasing. Okay, that point two to point one where it is going to reaching that time. What is going to be taking is called as a final fall time, initial fall time, and final fall time that is taken as T F two. Okay, this is we are going for. Next, this is a typical uh, switching characteristics of the IGBT. This period, T uh, delay time, rise time is called as on time, and the delay time with the fall time is called as the T off time. Within this, the our IGBT is going to be working means it is it will be on. Okay. Then what are the advantages and disadvantage of using of the IGBT? The main advantage here is going to be low on state voltage draw, then superior on state current density, low driving power. Yes, it, uh, immediately it will start conducting. Then excellent forward and reverse breakdown capabilities. Then temperature coefficient on of on state. Resistance is positive and less than P MOSFET. Okay, hence the less on-state voltage drop and power loss. This is the main advantage of IGBT. Then enhanced conduction due to bipolar nature. Then it is better safe operating area. It is wherever you want a safety measures are taken when you are going to use of this IGBT. It will be helpful there. What about the disadvantages? The switching feed in between MOSFET and IGB BJT from MOSFET to BJT it has to switching the time. What is the delay time is also there falling in our in off position and also in the on position. Both the position we have to wait for some certain intervals, right? Delay time we call that. That is what the disadvantage in the IGBT. Then possibility of latch up due to internal P and PN thyristor structure. That is what latch up means. Changing from one position to the one state to the another state. Conduction in the conduction time. Okay, that's what the two disadvantage of this IGBT. Then what are the applications? The applications are going to be used in your AC and DC motors, and also it is used in the unregulated <coughs> power supplies. That is in UPS. UPS systems, then IGBT is you going to be used to combine combine a simple gate driven characteristics of MOSFET with the high current and low saturation voltage of bipolar transistor. In such applications, we are going for IGBT. Then it is going to be used switch to mode power supplies that is SMPS in such applications. Then it is going to be used in traction motor control and induction heating. Then it is going to be used as inverters. Then the IGBT is used to combine a isolated gate FET for the control input and bipolar power, power transistor as a switch in a single devices. These are all the few applications where we can use of our IGBT. Next, this is in the in our lab. We are going to use of this. A circuit diagram in this this is a pin here this terminal is called as a gate collector and emitter then a power supply this we call as rps1 it's going to be given then voltage across gate to emitter that is taken here and voltage across the collector to emitter a current by using uh, it, going, it is going to be measured by using of the emitters the resistance r and vcc this is RPS two collector collector VCE or else VCC both the same. Okay, this is all the circuit diagram. In the same way, we are going to 
do the connection by using of this kit okay here the igbt connections it's going for here the supply uh, here in this uh, kit we are not going to use of this r2 part okay from supply it is going to be given for the gate and again from the positive terminal of the old meter it is connected to the gate okay then the parallel connection of the collector to emitter it is done then from the collector a negative to the emitter and positive of the emitter to the resistance then resistance to the power supply we go with one more connection from main supply the rps1 to the gate then from voltage right i told one more voltage to, um, it is going to be a positive of the voltage it is going to do for the gate next the parallel connection right positive it is going to be given for the collector and negative it is given for the emitter then collector it is given for the connection is done for the negative of the emitter this is the emitter connection then positive of the emitter it is connected to the resistance load resistance then negative of the load resistance it's given for the rps2 positive and connection negative it is connect connected to the negative of the rps2 it's going to be connected to the rps1 then a negative of the voltage across the gate terminal okay that is going to be connected to the negative of the rps1 then from the emitter one more connection to the negative of the rps1 okay this is how we have to do the connection part then by using the, this link we can go through how in a lab we are going to conduct the, our experiment okay thank you